So I'm Dr. Brian Wong, and I'm one of the physician partners here at Houston ENT and Allergy. My patient population is one that is very busy, they don't have the time for things, uh, they're on the go, and they want something that works for them and is effective. When I see the patient and examine them, and I recommend the Vivere therapy, I tell them that this is a technology, uh, it's relatively new, but it's showing great promise uh, because it serves to kind of reshape and remodel the nasal valve area, um, specifically the lower level cartilage. I describe it as if you were to take something that is collapsing, I kind of use a tube as an analogy, and there's one part of that that's collapsing down. What the very procedure does is it stiffens it, so it doesn't collapse as much. Also, it actually opens the aperture, the radius of that tube, so there's increased airflow through the tube. The Rivera procedure lasts about one hour, so that's the minute the patient gets into the examination room, the procedure room, to when they leave. And the majority of the cases I do are in office, and I think that's what's a large selling point for a lot of patients. A lot of them are amazed at the simplicity of the procedure, as well as the minimally invasive nature of it. And so the overall impression is very, very positive. So far in our experience, the procedure effects are long lasting. And what's great about it is that there's relatively early improvement. I would say within a few weeks, patients respond and say, oh, I can breathe so much better. Now I'm much more comprehensive in my evaluation of nasal airway obstruction because I can actually do something about it in a relatively non-invasive, non-painful, and comfortable way. It's a procedure that I think every ENT that treats nasal obstruction should have in their armamentarium.